Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by Bitmerge. ASCII, pronounced ASCII, is the American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Let's look at what that means and how you can use it. ASCII is based on the simple idea of using numbers to represent text. For example, numbers can represent the uppercase letter A, the lowercase letter Q, or the exclamation mark symbol. Collectively, letters, numbers, and symbols are called characters. By assigning a number to each character in a block of text, the block of text can be represented entirely by numbers and thus easily stored in a computer's memory. An uppercase A, for example, is always assigned the number 65. Conversely, 65 always refers to an uppercase A. In the same way, exclamation mark is always assigned 33, and 33 always references exclamation mark. There are other characters defined by ASCII as well which can be mapped back and forth between character and number using an ASCII lookup table like the one shown here. ASCII is the English language subset of Unicode, meaning that all of ASCII exists within Unicode. For more on Unicode, click here or follow the link in the description. You might be wondering why this is useful. ASCII characters are used in the emails that you send and receive. ASCII is also commonly used in computer science, particularly in programming, text files, and data conversions. Programmers might use ASCII to perform calculations on characters. For example, lowercase a minus uppercase a in ASCII would be 97 minus 65, or 32. This constant value can be used to convert between lowercase and uppercase letters. If you've seen any of our videos on binary numbers, you'll recognize that converting between uppercase and lowercase letters is as simple as flipping a single bit, the 32's bit. The 128 characters that make up ASCII are also used in graphic arts often to represent complex images using simple characters. Thanks for plugging in. Let us know what you liked, what we missed, and what you want to see next. And we'll see you back here soon.